Hi, welcome to 52 Questions. I'm Shannon Weber, Director of Hive. Every year, Hive answers hundreds of questions from patients, partners, and providers. And each week in 2018, we're bringing one of those frequently asked questions to you in video format. Have a question? Let us know. We'd love to answer it. For this week's question, we have a very special guest, um, Lena, who I'm going to let introduce herself in a minute. And this week's question is, how can I have um, detectable virus in my breast milk if I have an undetectable viral load? So this is a question who comes from a woman living with HIV who's thinking about um, the suggestion that she not breastfeed. And she's asking, um, how is virus, is it possible for virus to be present in my breast milk even when I have an undetectable viral load? Now, earlier this year, we already explored the research behind what U equals U or un detectable equals untransmittable means, and also how that um, the science behind um, reducing the transmission of HIV through breast milk. So we'll link to those videos in the comments here. But for this very specific question, we brought on an amazing, smart, and wonderfully humane, giant-hearted researcher, Lena, to answer the question. Oh, hi, Shannon. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. That's awesome. My name is Lena Sugidis. I'm a basic scientist. I work in Toronto, Canada, and uh, my passion for the last probably close to 10 years now have been uh, studying uh, pregnant women um, that are living with HIV. And um, the point of my research is to understand how um, HIV antiretrovirals affect pregnancy outcomes and what's the best uh, that we can do for our mothers and for their babies. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's, um, um, this is why I got involved with breastfeeding and uh, um, trying to explain the risk of HIV transmission through breast milk. And your question is a really good one. Um, and it is, it, it is complicated. It's more complicated than transmission through sex. Mm -hmm. And the thing that we need to understand about HIV is when we talk about viral load mm -hmm. and the viral load that we measure in the blood, it relates to free virus. So this is virus that's made by cells that are infected with HIV and circulates in our blood. And it's the virus that's going to go on to infect other cells. The other component is cell associated virus. And this is the virus that's in charge of the cells and makes those cells make more free virus. Mm. The problem with cell associated virus is that the drugs that we have, which are very good at getting rid of free virus, cannot get rid of cell-associated virus. And of course, we know that HIV it likes to infect immune cells, CD4 cells. And breast milk has a lot of those immune cells in it because that's how the mother passes immune protection to the baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so because the drugs cannot get rid of cell-associated virus, we, we know that any woman that's living with HIV will have immune cells in her breast milk that have cell associated virus mm -hmm. and those cells will be passed on through breast milk to the baby and that's why the chance of transmission cannot be zero uh-huh so even though the antiretrovirals to the mom and to the and or to the infant can lower the risk it will never be able to say with the drugs that we have now but we'll yeah be able to say that U equals U in the setting of breastfeeding. Yeah, exactly. So you can, you can be on your drugs and you can be very compliant and your viral load can be undetectable, but that only means that your cell-free virus is undetectable. Your cell-associated virus is not undetectable because the drugs cannot get rid of cell-associated virus, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> yes, unfortunately. I think for some people, this isn't the answer that we're looking for. And so it's kind of hard to sit with, but it's also good to know the why behind and not have that kind of unknown piece sitting there. Exactly. And I, and I think the, the point is that taking your drugs and being undetectable reduces your chance of transmission dramatically, even through breastfeeding. But the problem is that it can't be zero because we can't get rid of cell associated virus. So it is very good that, you know, women that choose to breastfeed should go on and achieve an undetectable viral load because that's how you reduce your chances of transmission to the lowest that it can be. But unfortunately, because we can never get rid of cell associated virus, 
we can never have zero risk of transmission. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for joining me to answer that very complicated question. Um, oh, thank you for having me. All right. Join me next week where we'll answer the question, how does the U equals U conversation impact uh, reproductive justice? All right. Have a great week.